Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming Jay. We're diving back into the world of the PS3 to try out MotorStorm Pacific Rift. And I actually have the demo here today. So we're going to be checking that out. Um, I feel like demos, we've we've done this a handful of times. They're pretty good for, for our channel because the whole purpose of this Thousand and One quest is to go through all the games in the book of Thousand and One video games to play before you die. But not play them to completion because I mean that I mean that would be an insane quest and frankly I'm not that hardcore. For us, we just want to jump in, have fun with the game, try it out, see what it has to offer, and demos are a great way to do that. So I've actually, when I have had the opportunity to get a demo of a more modern game, I've actually started to veer a little in that direction. Uh, and so yeah, we're gonna be trying. The demo here today. Anyway, it looks this game looks awesome. There's cars exploding. There's tropical plants. What more could you want out of a video game? I say we do this. All right, we have options: a bike, a buggy, or a monster truck. Are these weight classes, or will I be racing a dirt bike against monster trucks? Because if so, I'm going for the truck. But I guess we'll start small and get bigger as we go. Oh god, it's like a driving test. Tilt. You can actually tilt the thing. Camera change, boost, horn taunt, right stick. I mean, the basic controls that you need are usually just analog stick, X to accelerate. L2 to brake is good to know. Attack or ram left? Attack or ram right? Alright. Oh my god, people are in, in cars. I'm just in a, a motorcycle. Okay, hold on. There we go. All right, so <laughs> let's go punch a car. This is like road, uh, what was it, road rage back in the day or road rash? You get like chains and whip other bikers and stuff, except everyone was actually on a bike. <laughs> the fact that uh, some people are in cars puts me at a disadvantage. Yeah, get out of here. He just accelerated away from me. He's like, some, some guy just punched my rear window. I'll just drive away from that. Oh, we have a boost. That can help us. Alright, I'm behind in the race because I didn't know how to accelerate when we started the, the race, but... Boosting! Oh god, my- I'm gonna puke- OH! <laughs> I killed my guy! <laughs> I blew up the car, he's like, oh my groin! It exploded right! Right where the sun don't shine. Okay, hold on. Let's restart this race, because that race went about as bad as any dirt bike race could go. Dead last. And with burned and <laughs> bruised legs. Oh my god. <laughs> and you can't even... What is the point of racing a motorcycle against all these cars? It's actually funny. Oh god. Oh! And into the river he goes! I'm having too much fun watching him die. Frankly. Alright, so... Your boost meter, I thought that was how much boost you had left, and I was like, Oh, that's very generous that they're just giving you unlimited boost. I understand now that this is how hot your engine is, and so, like... You want to ride that line, get it right up to the red line, and then cool it off, you know? Um, technically we're 15 out of 16, meaning somebody somehow is doing worse than us. So, I don't know. Um, oh, there he is. Oh! Okay. It's not good to race a motorcycle against actual vehicles. Okay, here's what you get when you get the full game. A brand new location. Um... Pacific Island. 16 new tracks with multiple routes. Massive diversity. Up to 16 vehicles per race. I didn't read the rest of that, but... Lots of cool stuff. Anyway, um... Yeah, let's let's try a monster truck. We're going from the tiny to the massive. Um is there any other handbrake? Steer left, steer right. Okay. Oh, bunny hops and ducking. Huh. Welcome to the Razorback. Most deadly race ever. I hope they assign my bike to someone and somebody's racing on a motorcycle. Oops. Got to accelerate. So accelerate is R2. I keep pressing X, but X is to boost. 
And you can't boost right off the bat. It has to sort of charge up and then... And you can boost. Whoa. Oh, God. Don't go over the edge. Oh, man. This thing is actually hard to control. Shockingly, the... We might do even worse in the monster truck. Just is not a very fast vehicle, it seems. These things are built for fighting, not for racing. Okay, come on. We got to get up to somebody and ram them somehow. Everyone's just pulling away from us. I don't know what to do. Okay, now we're just dead last. That guy didn't even, like, sort of sneak up on us. He just passed us, and now we're, like, way behind him. Alright, maybe this is our chance. Oh, God. Yeah, this truck sucks. I'm 14th somehow. Okay, I want to ram somebody, man. I saw there are, there are designated buttons for ram left, ram right. Oh, here we go. These people just volunteered for ramming. Yeah! I think I might have taken somebody out there, not 100% clear. This reminds me a little bit of Burnout, which is one of my favorite racing franchises of all time. Only Burnout, if you did take someone out, the camera will, like, pause and- Oh, God! It'll pause and do, like, an instant replay and, like, show you that they're dead. Um, as opposed to this, I think I took someone out and it's just, like, you know, you have to go by, like, your feeling about whether you think you might have taken them out or not. You know, you don't get to actually see it. A bit of a letdown. Give me a red car. I want to get you so bad. Ram him! Oh, I think we did ram him. Oh, he went off the edge! <laughs> I saw that! See, in Burnout, the, can the game would have, like, gone to slow-mo, super slow-mo, and you would have, like, actually watched that guy go over the edge. Like, the camera would have followed him, then we would have cut back to your car. So, I feel like little touches like that are what make Burnout amazing. So, th this is sort of like off-road Burnout. Really. That's the sense I'm getting. All right, well, somehow we're fifth. I thought we were doing horrible, but it turns out we're doing, like, okay, actually. Fourth. Maybe just everyone else has just died. Like, all the other cars just slowly... Oh, God, we didn't make it! Oh, now we're ninth. Okay, maybe the only reason we were fifth or whatever is because we made that jump the first time we did it and a lot of cars don't make it. Seems like 50-50 if a car is actually going to make that jump. We got to catch up to some of these cars. Damn it. Oh yes, we cooled off. Boost, boost. Oh, what? Oh, my wheel fell off. This mid-race? Now we're still sixth. Whoa, into a tree. Good thing this is a beefy truck. Oh god, into the water. Boost. Boost! Oh! Hey, we're second! Didn't anticipate that occurring. Okay, cool off in the water and boost! Baby, where's the first place guy? Oh, he's, he's like not even- he didn't even exist. He's, like, gone so far ahead, he's, like, actually gone back in time. That's what it's like when you're- you're racing in a racing game, and you're so far ahead in first, so you start passing the last place guy. It's like you've traveled so fast that you've literally gone back in time, and now you're at the- the, you know, end of the race. Anyway, second. Not bad for being an idiot. I mean, like... I don't mean I'm an idiot, but I mean, well, I don't know. Anyway, uh, not, I, I meant not bad for sucking, you know, like not bad for like crashing and going off road and, and 
literally failing multiple jumps and ending up in valleys and stuff. So, all right. Prepare for another glorious festival of the world's most brutal off-road racing. Four-player split-screen. Humiliate up to three buddies at the same time. See, the only problem is they could humiliate you, too. So it's sort of a, a deadly dance of do you or don't you. Um, so I guess you only get to try this one track. Let's try this dune buggy. Now that we're getting the hang of it. All right, let's try the dune buggy, and then we'll try the motorcycle again. Um, now that I know how to play, maybe the motorcycle's more reasonable. I'm very disappointed when you pick the motorcycle that not that everyone isn't on motorcycles, because it'd be so fun to have a race where you're all punching each other road rash style, but I guess you're just not allowed to do that. Okay, and this one... Actually, I wasn't paying attention to the controls. I guess it doesn't have a ram left, ram right. This one is not meant to ram. Oh, but it can boost. Why are we not boosting? Oh, I'm driving on another car! <laughs> oh, I exploded! That's great. I was driving on another car because it was more convenient. It's actually really funny. Whoa! Put you right to that red line. And ease off. Damn, it's a shame I was actually doing quite well in the opening there. Till I kind of exploded my car. I guess I didn't explode it, I wiped it out. But this is the first car that actually feels like a car. Like the monster truck. I mean, felt like dry, trying to drive a monster truck in a race. I can't believe that beast placed. And then the uh, motorcycle. Whoa! Oh, we easily made that in this car. Still 16th, though. I'm sure we'll start making up places shortly. Let's gun it. Gun it and run it. the 15th place guy man they're really making it work for you i feel like as the monster truck guy most people were like eh whatever you win monster truck and they just i didn't never even saw them they just disappeared off the map whoa whoa hey we're 12th somehow that put us ahead go figure go figure Oh, <laughs> we got right to the red line there. I think you can be in the red zone for a little bit before your car explodes. I wasn't paying attention to the motorcycle on the first level when we actually made it explode. Oh, God. Okay, we're ninth. We're, somehow we're doing worse in this car than we were in the monster truck. We're getting there, though. hee -ya! Boost our way to victory. Pass these losers. There's gonna be a jump here. We gotta make this jump. Not this one. The next one. Okay. Boost it. Boost! Jeez, our, car, our engine is, like, running red hot. Yeah, this will cool us down, though. Drive through the water. Sixth. Jeez. I feel like... Yeah, okay, we did technically wipe out, like, once or twice with this car. Oh, just... Whatever. Jeez, this car is weak. We wiped out once or twice or- Oh, that guy landed on me three times. Oh, four times. Okay, we've definitely lost now. Um... We didn't do- I don't feel like we did categorically worse than we were driving the monster truck, but man... I guess we're sixth now? 
It's not terrible. But I feel like with the monster truck... Let's just go for it! Yeah! Explode across the finish line. Oh, come on! Our exploding carcass is definitely gonna make that. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we, we actually did a little worse as the monster truck, but somehow we placed better. So I don't know what that's about. Well, this being a demo, we, we only really get to try this one track, so we're going to try once more with the motorbike. See if, uh, see what we can actually make happen. In stores now. You know, the demo, this is a short demo. I wish it was a little longer, but I mean, any company that still makes a demo, I think, you know power to them although like demos are starting if you buy games on steam demos are almost becoming less relevant because with steam they have like a isn't it like a 30 day or 30 hour policy or something like that or maybe it's a 30 day or three hour they have some kind of policy where you can buy a game and you can literally return it if you play a couple hours and you're not a huge fan of it so you almost don't even need um oh god you uh, almost don't even need demos anymore because you can literally just play the whole game and if you don't like it, you get your money back. Which is... You know, technically, that's not that novel a concept because back in the day, like, of, you know, home consoles and stuff of the NES era, if you bought a game and you really didn't like it, you probably... Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know how generous retailers were with the return policies back in those days. Uh, they might not have been that generous, honestly. Because sort of once you open a video game... I mean, certainly once you've opened a PC game, nobody would take your returns. But a console game? You probably could return that thing. I don't know, may maybe you can't. Maybe there are sticklers about it, but... I definitely remember back in the day, like in high school and stuff, if you bought a PC game... There's no way you could return an open package. Just nobody would take it because the assumption was you took it home and you copied it onto your hard drive or whatever it was. And so now you have a copy of the game and you're just returning the disc for the money back. So nobody would nobody would take that one, take that back. Oh my, oh my engine here. Can't tell if the motorcycle is easier or harder to pass all these guys. Whoa! Oh god! Oh! We're made. We're doing it. We made it work. Go go! Crazy motorcycle! I think I hit a rock. I might be dead. I think my guy killed himself on a rock, and this is his brother who's taken up his mantle as a racer. Oh god! Oh god! I don't know if that was faster than just crashing into the valley and having it reset me, but... Um, hey, the music in the background, I think, is a theme song to Human Giant, which is a really kind of cool... It's hard to describe riff. I think it's a bass or a guitar or something. Um, oh, God! Hey, we're fifth. I don't know how good we'll do. What is the name of that song? It's uh, like romantic something. I, I can I can hear the guitar, the weird sort of distorted guitar riff in my mind. But yeah, if you haven't seen Human Giant, Aziz Ansari, uh, Paul Shearer, was a oh, there's another guy too, Dave something. Um, he played uh, Holly's girlfriend on The Office, AJ. Uh, but anyway, uh, good show. Good show back in the day. Pretty funny show. Um, it's a shame. This means this video is probably going to get copyright claims and strikes and all sorts of nonsense, which we've talked about at length in our Guitar Hero and DJ Hero videos, because those, those games always get taken down. They're just not even worth playing really in my opinion <laughs> not not for youtube not not that they're not worth playing but you know what i mean like you're gonna make a video they're just de facto you can't monetize the thing so if you're an aspiring youtuber 
Don't make a pro tip. Don't make a Guitar Hero channel. It'll be very difficult. Okay, let's avoid this death rock. Woohoo! And let's gun it! No! Oh. oh, we reset somehow. Third. Oh, come on. The, the guy's right there. Okay, here we go. Gun it! Oh, don't explode! Don't explode! Yeah! Okay, hey, explode across the finish line. We made it. We're second. Yeah! Yes! Yeah! That's how you finish. He's just dead. Ultimate finish. That was a picture perfect finish line explosion. I mean, we can go nowhere here, but from here, but down. So, I mean, that's the end of the video right there. You finished second. Damn straight we did. I don't think a first place guy exists in this game. I've never seen him. Um, again, you know, it's interesting. I feel like we raced a lot better with this motorcycle than we did with the monster truck. Still could only get second. So it's probably possible to get first. But I mean, you probably just have to race like really well. And I'm just not up to the task. <gasps> this is the first time I've ever played this game. Anyway, MotorStorm Pacific Rift here. Uh, the full version of the game is in the book. A thousand video games you must play before you die. And, yeah, I, I think it's kind of interesting. I definitely do, if I'm going to play a racing game, I like these ones that are more aggressive, that let you actually destroy and, and demolish other cars. Um, I would be really interested to see if the motorcycle levels actually have other guys on motorcycles and you can punch people off. That'd be awesome. It feels kind of silly to have cars racing against motorcycles. Everyone should be on a motorcycle on a motorcycle race. Um, or you should be able to, like, drop a grenade in a car. Right, something, you know. Like, if you're going to be able to attack, give me an attack. Um, but yeah, other than that, the only my only real complaint is that compared to Burnout, the Burnout franchise, when you wipe other people out, it's like it slow mows and you get to enjoy and see what you did. In this, when I was a monster truck, I was trying to ram people, and I'm pretty sure I ran one or two guys off the road. Uh, and they might have even gone off a cliff and exploded or something. But it's like, I kind of hit them, and I thought maybe they were heading in that direction, but I was long gone. My camera was following me, so I didn't get to see if I actually did anything. So that's my only real complaint, is that compared to Burnout, I think Burnout is a more satisfying experience when you wipe people out. But if you want some vehicular mayhem in racing form, um, yeah, this, this seemed pretty good. Um, especially if you like the sort of off-road element, because Burnout doesn't really do a lot of that. I mean, it does technically, I guess, but not not in the same level of off-road as this thing. So, uh, yeah, seems like an interesting game. Seems like an evolution of Road Rash related to Burnout. What do you guys think of MotorStorm Pacific Rift? I forgot the name for a second. Pacific Rift here. Is it a game that you've played the full version of? Do you have fond memories, tips or tricks? What's your opinion of the game? Anything that you want to say about the game in the comments down below, feel free to sound off. And as always, guys, whatever you think of the game, hopefully you had some fun here today. If you did, don't forget to like the video. Other than that, I will catch you in the next one. So until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. And peace.